What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out when AEW fans cheer the heel wrestlers by uh, Viper Incarnate Show. You guys liked it when I checked out when uh, WWE fans cheer cheer to hear a heel wrestler. So I'm gonna check this out for you guys as well. Um, I haven't got a chance to check out Forbidden Door as of me recording this, but I know a lot of you guys are letting me know what was happening. So I'm definitely going to go check that out after I finish recording this video. I want to check it out and, uh, you know, you know, get my thoughts and opinions on it separately off camera. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. That should be a entertaining time. A lot of you guys were saying some positive things, some great matches was on the show and I'm looking forward to it. And uh, it's always uh, an interesting thing when you see the heels, the bad guy gets so much love and adulation from the fans. And a lot of times it happens in their hometown. Like you can be the bad guy all you want. It don't matter when you're at home, you're the hero. So we're going to check this out. MJF is probably going to definitely have to be featured in this video only because a lot of times he's the bad guy. But the stuff he says is just so deliciously good pause that we got to, you know, he gets cheered and loved. So let's get into this one. Should be a good one, y'all, man. Yep. Listen to that. The pride of Long Island. I think that's what they say, yeah. Yep. That's, you know, that's where he's from. Anytime he goes to Long Island, it's it's he automatically gets love. Maxwell, Jacob, Friedman, and I'm better than you. And it's one of those things where as a heel, because he knows he can say anything he wants. They're going to cheer him. So he plays into it. The one place he's going to get love, the one place he's going to get adulation, home field advantage, whatever you want to call it, he might as well play it up. He can still be a heel prick, but play it up. You might as well. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody loves Joe. Love Samoa Joe, man. I love Samoa. This is a cool moment to see. Listen to that. And as the face of not only the city of Toronto, but the country of Canada. <laughs> the Toronto Maple Leafs losing in the first round of the playoffs, guaranteed. <laughs> and their opponents, the Gunther and Platinum, Max Castro. Listen! Listen! Acclaimed in the guns, what the fans prefer. We're about to make y'all pay like Amber Heard. <laughs> by the way, Bret Hart's trash boys, you get served by acclaimed and the ass boys. I forgot at one point they were heels. I forgot about that, but they just got over. <laughs> well, in comparison to CM Punk and FTR. Back when he was the AEW World Champion. Back in Georgia, I'm wrong. Well, Tony, when it comes down to teammates and... Questionable <laughs> Queens, the devil has arrived! <laughs> How you doing, Shivani, you fat old prick? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, he always disrespected 
Tony Schiavone, bro. You fat old prick. M D. Those Pittsburgh terrible towels. Yep, she's from Pittsburgh. Back when she was the uh, uh, the women's champion. Listen to that. This is good to see, man. Yep, this is when he was a heel. I'm, I'm going to say this is before he had to go out with injury. I thought MJF is going to be all over this this compilation, this video. <laughs> New champ. I remember watching this. It's got to be. It's got to be. Cody's got to figure a way to beat this. They're pounding each other right now. Yeah, at this point, they had turned on Cody. <laughs> We've seen this they turned on Cody so much. Oh, my God, from downtown Big Apple. Gives me a sense of pride. Oh, there's Mox with his death jitsu sweatshirt. Yes. <laughs> and you know what really gives me a sense of pride? Hey, can we can we get oh yeah, somebody work on those clips. That's crazy. He, he's technically a part of a heel group and he still gets cheers. <laughs> Brian, we do have the footage from this past Sunday night. It was a huge night. I love it. It's so smart. Oh, oh, oh. oh wow. just pulled the referee. Yep. Yep. We got a new champion. Well, that man made history. MGF, world heavyweight champion. <laughs> Wait, Garcia! What have you done? Wow. This Daniel Garcia. And they, they still, he, he, they didn't do nothing with that. They had a little mini feud with Danielson, and they did nothing with that. He is now still one of Jericho's lackeys. It's just, what was the point? <laughs> See ya. Uh, come on. Two and three. They did nothing with it. The Chase Center, San Francisco, California. Blue House of Black. No, you were right about that. And the fact that here we are now in... Out of the house of black hence why they have those beautiful trios champions championships i should say here's the news flash shut your mouth and sit down may fighter in the world today okay. uh, i remember this okay. we the people sucks and it's dead and buried it was a stupid idea. i ain't gonna lie to you when jericho was la champion i definitely did enjoy his reign it was it was cool it was i i thoroughly enjoyed it Listen to that. Look at that. The only way to be eliminated in this match is over the top rope with both feet hitting from Plainview, Long Island, New York, weighing 226 MJ. How awesome is the emotion we're seeing? That's awesome. <laughs> he's, he's a bad guy, but the, the love that he gets when he gets home is it's always good to see, bro. Dynamite doesn't battle royal continues. MJF just took a cheap shot. There you go. Leo Rush trying to take the lot of white dog. Leo MJF, he just dumped his own man. <laughs>
And it's funny, he's mostly been a heel <laughs> in AEW in his entire run. But, you know, people love to sing his entrance. So you would think he would change up his entrance, but he's not. It's, it's like a baby face entrance. Like, it doesn't matter. They're going to still sing it. Major. Kenny Omega and Chris Jericho. <laughs> that, that's. Man, I, I appreciate those moments. I appreciate those bizarro world moments, man. It's always good to be able to sit back and and watch a wrestler get cheered in their home, like a heel wrestler get cheered in their hometown or whatever. And it's hard for them sometimes to hide that emotion and stay in character. Sometimes they got to smile because it's just dope. It's dope. That's what makes wrestling what it is sometimes. That fan interaction, whether they're booing you, whether they're cheering you, whether you're supposed to be a heel and they're still showing you love, it's 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 always dope, man. And I, I can always appreciate that. So comment down below. Let me know what was your favorite uh, moment uh, in AEW history where the heel got cheered like a baby face. I think a lot, a lot of us are going to just run down multiple times hey, mjf is on a microphone or whatever they 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 he knows how to heal it up but he also knows he's entertaining to watch and people just want to cheer him because he's just that damn good so but i appreciate all love and support road to 150k and i'm still going to speed the youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking me see y'all next one peace